Caleb, let's say, one to Chicago. Then you've got the Commanders. They're at two, likely to take J.J. McCarthy. What do we need to know about him? He's, he's, a, he's another special guy. To have those two in the same class, J.J.'s got uh, a way about him that is just a, is beautiful. You're around this guy, and he's got a presence that will just calm everything, and he's got a competitive temperament that will elevate everything. And he's got a way to kind of see clearly through it. I, I love him. You know, this is becoming vogue, but high school quarterbacks diving into mental skills. J.J. McCarthy has done that, right? It's well documented, meditating prior to the pregame uh, of any big time game that he's ever played. But it's all the. Did he get that work. from you, Yogi? <laughs> he, yeah, I don't know where he got that, yeah. but I, I do believe in this that you can train three things. You can train your craft, you can train your body, and you can train your mind. Mm. He understands and pours into all equally. And he's also had to operate a big time playbook, he's had to operate in big circumstances. He's made huge throws. Like you can nitpick. What's he like in the red zone as the game gets tighter and faster? Well, welcome to the NFL. Every quarterback has to deal with that. But I'm excited for him. I think he's a pro's pro. I think he'll walk in. And in that environment, if he goes there, I'm the biggest commander fan there is right now because of the coaching staff and what they've done with Dan Quinn and Cliff. My best friend in life, John Glenn, is their assistant special teams coordinator. Is my high school quarterback, Kay. So yeah, yeah, I'm all I'm all in on on what they do next. You're all in. Okay, so we know about those two. Is there somebody in this draft that you think you need to put on my map here? Well, Some, anybody? Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Well, it's probably not your map, but I feel like every article I read, and I I am a huge Michael Penix Jr. fan, so I think he's on the map already. But Bo Nix, I feel like, is slid off the map a little bit. Okay, this is a guy over 60 starts, most starts in the history of college football. When you comp him to other players, like it's just dramatic in terms of his experience. Experience. I look at him and can he be Andy Dalton? Like, can he be that second round pick that thrives moving forward? He'll be a complete and utter pro. I mean, his he's had a different offensive coordinator every year he's been in college. He's been in college for six years. Like, he's had a different system every single year he's had to be in college. He went through absolute, you can insert whatever word you want, because my kids might be watching, but he went through absolute whatever when he was in Auburn. I mean, he went there to be a legacy player, got absolutely destroyed by that community because he didn't live up to the hype, goes out to Oregon because he wants to win a national championship, leads him to a Pac-12 championship, decides to come on back, gets married in the meantime. Like, he's just a pro. He's going to walk in and absolutely thrive. He won't have the hype that all these other guys have, but he won't need it. He'll he just might come be in a better position on a better no team. No doubt. I love, I love Michael Penix's position because he's going to be able to walk. It's going to be a hell, It's going to truly be healthy. I don't know if it'll be Seattle. You know, we know we love Do you the want, Seahawks. Would you die? Oh You'd be God, so Ryan excited Grubb about is that. OC. It'd be incredible. I don't know. I was just talking about the Rams. I don't know what Seattle's doing. Me neither. I, like, because I'm like, okay, well, Niners, fine. And then I'm like, okay, Rams, always. Oh, it'll be interesting to see what they do in the draft. And then I'm like, kind of in on Arizona because everyone's sleeping on them. And I actually think that they, like, had a lot of injuries. And I think it's that they'll be okay and they really play well for their coach. And then I'm like, what is Seattle? Yeah. What is Seattle this year? Well, John Schneider's gonna always had it figured out, you know. Like, yeah. You know, okay. Do they get rid of their picks? Do they trade? I mean, they'll do something. Yeah. Uh, but I think there's an opportunity for them to. This quarterback class is so rich. It's so deep. There's so much talent. Do they trade up to try to get somebody? They say, hey, no, we're good with where we sit today. We just got Sam Howell. We have our starter. Maybe, yeah. maybe I do love Sam all Howell. is fine. Yeah. Um, okay, I want to ask you. We have to. We're gonna take a break here in a couple of minutes. Would you rather get to Joe Milton, Jaden Daniels, or Drake May? Let's go Jane Daniels. Okay, Jane, okay, tell me what you think here. Because yeah, Wait, his pro, pro day, pro day yeah. is today. Yeah, it's coming it's up. It's in a couple of hours, so teams are worried. I know about his weight a little bit. He's like sub 200. Yeah. Is that is that something that I need to be aware of? I mean, he's of? always been sub 200. This, this feels like Bryce Young all over again. Except he's like six three and a half. Okay, tell you me. You know, he's, he he's and six, Bryce four. are, yeah, <sighs> six, I mean, he and Bryce are different body types, similar playing types. We talked about this last year, like point guard, Steph Curry-esque. I think for Jaden, Every environment he's been in. Go to freshman year at Michigan State, fourth quarter drive, no problem. Then go to the last two years in the SEC. He carried this team and he carried himself to a Heisman. He was trophy. Elite 11, right? 2018. Well, he was elite 11. 2018. And last year's counselors were even better. It was he, Caleb, I mean, it, it, Michael Penix Jr. It was, it was awesome when those guys come on back and hang out. But Jane Daniels, I, I've, again, I've known these guys since they were 15, 16 years old. He's put on a bunch of weight. But most importantly, like, he's put on this maturity to himself. Because again, you look at, Michael Penix Jr., look at Bo Nix, Caleb Williams, mm -hmm. and now, uh, you know, who we're talking about here, they've all transferred. Joe Milton, like, mm -hmm. you have to go through adversity. One of the top questions all GMs ask, I was talking to a Jim Nagy at the Senior Bowl. Mm -hmm. He said, do you have a consistent question you ask everybody? He said, yeah, tell me about a moment you've gone through adversity. Same thing we ask every quarterback at 11 to write an essay about it at 16. These guys have had real adversity because they've had to adjust and change. Jane Daniels at Arizona State, 
that was a challenging environment in, in terms of how he left and when he left and the you know what the school was going through in terms of the NCAA. Mm -hmm. Then he found a home in LSU. Everybody thought, oh, is he even going to win the job? Won the job, beat Alabama in overtime, and then comes back and wins a Heisman the next year. And he can make every throw. He's dynamic with his legs. He knows when to not get hit. Like the weight, the height, to me, every GM and coach, they have a blueprint. And they have a way in terms of they know what fits into their box. He's going to make somebody extremely happy. And he might. He might be the best out of all of them if he drops into the healthiest of environments and he can play in a clean pocket. If he's not running for his life, if he can run with purpose, if he can do that, I mean, look out. What question does he have to answer today? <sighs> Nothing. Really? I mean, I don't think pro, pro Why days. Why do you do pro day? Marvin Harrison Jr. has it right. I love pro days. Yeah. Not for Jaden Daniels okay. and Caleb, but because they're the beacon. And I love, guys get a ton of slack for not throwing at the combine. And I could go either way on that. But you're bringing every eyeball to your pro day for the fifth round wide receiver, for the DP. Sure. I, I enjoy okay. it. And you're the commanders at two. Are you taking J.J. McCarthy or are you taking Jaden Daniels? I don't know. I'd probably, I mean, if I had to pick today. Yeah. If you had to I'm pick I'm thinking today. like weather. I'm going through like all yeah. those elements. Yeah. I'd probably lean towards J.J towards JJ yeah. too. But then yeah. I think of Cliff and his system and who do I see dealing in that? You know, like if you just look at his history, Jayden. I think Jaden. Yeah, so I, I would go to the interview and I go back to the fit. Yeah. I can't help but think of all these guys that have been traded now. Like you look at Marcus Mariota, you look at Sam Darnold, go back to Josh Rosen as, as mm -hmm, a top mm -hmm. 15 pick. Like you could argue n none of their fits were really healthy. Jets, Arizona at the time. I mean, you, you, that's the deal. I think that's just the Justin saying, you know, you, you can make these. The scary part about it is that it, there's a very low hit rate on the second stories. Yeah. It, like you look at Sam Howell and it's like, I, I, I believe in you. I hope you thrive. I hope, but it's very rare. It's very rare to have a uh, Carrie Collins. Um, uh, uh, I don't even know. What are the other names? Geno Smith-ish. Yeah. No, not, not Geno. Like, like a, to take a team to a playoff the next the next year, it's very the, the numbers are bad. I, the numbers are bad, so it's it's it. That's why the draft is so important. It's very hard to rewrite the Deshaun Kaiser. It's story. the same reason why we wrote the book. Yeah, fifty four percent of quarterbacks transfer. Hamilton texted me the other names. I'm annoyed that I can't remember. We were doing we were doing. I was looking at I was looking at all of this of like like the real success of of, of rewrites. Is, is Everybody's tough. told their first round pick, and I think there's been twelve. Quarterbacks that were first round picks heading into last year's draft. Yeah. Like that were five star quarterbacks in high school. Like, so you're telling me like over 80% of them are just busts. You know, like it's the same thing in, in the whole discussion we're having here. Like yeah. in two years, out of these five quarterbacks we've talked about, how many of them are going to make it? 